हेलो एवरीवन आई एम योर होस्ट आयुषी कारा सेठिया एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल पैबली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ यू कैन सेंड व्हाट्सएप मैसेजेस फॉर न्यू टैग्स एडेड इन एक्टिव कैंपेन ऑटोमेटिकली सो फर्स्ट लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड बाय टेकिंग एन एग्जांपल दैट यू ओन अ सॉफ्टवेयर कंपनी एंड यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग सम प्रोडक्ट्स टू योर कस्टमर्स एंड यू आर मेंटेनिंग योर कस्टमर डेटाबेस इन योर एक्टिव कैंपेन्स अकाउंट व्हिच इज अ सेल्स एंड मार्केटिंग एंड अ सीआरएम ऑटोमेशन सॉफ्टवेयर now you want that whenever a customer subscribes to any of your product for example pavli connect or pavli subscription billing or pavli email marketing and you add a tag to that particular contact in your active campaign account automatically the customer should receive a message on his whatsapp number that thank you for subscribing for so and so product or something like that for this we need to create a connection between active campaign and whatsapp so that whenever the tag is added to a contact automatically the message is sent to the customer and in order to create a connection between both these software applications we are going to use pavli connect so basically pavli connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in automating active campaign with whatsapp automatically the best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge even a non technical person can use this software application very easily so let us learn the integration process now on my screen welcome back to my screen here let us type p a b b l y pabli.com in our browser this is the website of pabli here we have to come to products and click on pabli connect this is the landing page of pabli connect as you are the first time user you have to click on sign up for free option and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes and you are going to get 100 task free every month as i already have an account with pabli connect i'll simply click on sign in let's click on login over here in the all app section come to pabli connect and click on access now this is the dashboard of pabli connect Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on Create Workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as Active Campaign to WhatsApp Integration. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on Create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this use case, we want that whenever a new tag is added in active campaign to a specific contact, automatically a WhatsApp message should be sent to the customer. So we have to create an integration between active campaign and Pabli Connect so that whenever the tag is added to a contact, the details are captured in Pabli Connect. So just open this trigger window and let us choose the application name as active campaign here we have to select the trigger event as contact tag added click on connect click on add new connection now it is asking for the api key and the url so let us read the instructions log in to your active campaign account click on your settings tab on the left sidebar area and select developer tab from the drop down menu and you will find the api key so i'll just take you to my active campaign account so this is my active campaign dashboard here we can find the settings option just click on settings and here we can find the developers tab okay so you have to just click on developer and here we can find the key so i'm just going to copy this api key from here and i'll be pasting the same api key over here now it is asking for the url so here we can find the url also okay so you have to just copy this api url from here and we have to paste it over here in pabli connect but remember here we have to just uh, remove this https colon and slashes okay from ashirai i am just going to capture the url okay and here in the instruction also it is mentioned that if your url is example this then provide only this part of the url in the above field okay and here we have to just remove https colon slashes and let's click on save and now active campaign account is connected to pabli connect 
So make sure before creating a connection, you are logged into your active campaign account. Now here we have to give a name to the webhook. So let us give it as Pabli. So you can enter the name as per your requirement and let's click on save and send test request. Do you wish to resend the request again? Let's click on yes. Okay, now we have we can see that it is waiting for the response. So in order to capture the response, we have to do a test submission. It means we have to add a tag to a specific contact. So let's move to our active campaign account. And here we will be moving to the contacts section. And here you can see that I have already created some contacts over here. Okay. So here I'll just take you to my tags section also by clicking on this manage tags button. So here you can see that I have created three tags that is Pabli Connect, Pabli Plus and Pabli Subscription Billing. So now I want to add a tag to a specific contact over here in my contact section. Okay, so the page is getting loaded over here. Okay, and let's add to uh, add a tag to this particular contact named Adam Smith. So I have to just click on the name of the contact. And here when we scroll down, we can find the tags option, enter tag. So let us enter, enter the tag as Pabli Plus. Okay, so the tag is added. Now let's move back to Pabli Connect. Okay, and here we can see the response is received. And here we can find the type as contact tag added. Here we can find the date and time. Let's scroll down and here we can find the contact ID of the customer. Here we can find the contact email address, the first name, the last name and the phone number of the customer. And even we can find the contact tags as Pabli Plus over here. Okay. So we have got all the details. Now we want to send a WhatsApp message to this particular customer named Adam Smith. So let's scroll down and choose the application name as 360 dialogue over here. Select the action event as send template message. Click on connect. Click on add new connection. Now it is asking for the API key and the domain name. So let us read the instructions. Enter API key here. You can create API key in your 360 dialog account. Log into your 360 dialog account. Move to WhatsApp account page from the left sidebar and click on generate API key button. Okay, so I'll just take you to my 360 dialog account. So this is the dashboard of 360 dialog account. I have added the link of 360 dialog in the description box. By clicking on that link, you can reach to 360 dialog application and get 360 dialog service at a very affordable price than the actual price. Here we have to just come to the WhatsApp accounts. And here we can find generate API key button. So you have to generate the API key. You have to copy that API key and you have to just paste it over here in Pabli Connect. Now once the API key is generated, the same API key can be used for various different connections and workflows. We don't have to generate the API key again and again. Now the domain is required. Enter the domain here which you will get while generating the API key. An example is also given. So I'm just going to copy this example from here and I'll be just pasting it over here. Now whenever our account is approved, we get this particular domain by default. In your case, if you get some other domain, please paste that domain over here. After pasting API key and domain, simply click on save. As I have already created a connection, I'll just choose this option that is select existing connection and I'll click on save. And now 360 dialog account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here we have to select a template. So template is simply a message that we want to send on the WhatsApp number of the customer. As we cannot send the messages directly on WhatsApp, first we need to create a template. We have to get it approved from Facebook. And once the template is approved, then only the same template can be used for sending the messages on WhatsApp. That is the reason we have to select a specific template over here. So I'll just take you to my 360 dialog account once again. And here we can find manage templates option. Simply click on it. Now here you can see that I have created several templates and got it approved over here. Okay. Now if you want to create a new template, simply click on this plus sign add template. Now here you can give a name to the template. Here you can select the category of your template. Various categories are available. Here you can select the language of your choice. Here you can select template type. And here you have to give the template body text. That is the message that you want to send on the WhatsApp number of the customer. Then click on preview and submit. Then it will be going for the approval. 
and once this template is approved then only you can use this particular template for sending the messages on whatsapp so i'll just close this template and i'll open the one which i have already created and got it approved that is tag update over here so let us find the same that is tag underscore update so i'll just open it and i'll show it to you so here i have taken a hello first let us read the template thank you for subscribing we hope you will enjoy being dash user if you would like to make any changes or need any help please contact us at admin at the rate family.com thank you family here you can see that i have given number one and number two in the curly braces so these are the body fields and the values of these body fields are going to change every time so here we want the name of the customer to get reflected in body field one so let's say the name of the customer is adam smith so in this way the name will get reflected and in the body field two we want pabli plus to get displayed so I'm just going to enter it over here that is Pabli plus. So in this way, a message will get generated and it will be delivered to the customer. So we have to select the same template over here in Pabli connect that is tag update. So let us find the same template in Pabli connect as tag update. Now the namespace and the language code is automatically captured. So we are not going to make any changes over here. Let's scroll down. Here we have to give the recipient mobile number. Recipient will be the customer who is going to receive the WhatsApp message. So here we can read the instructions. Enter the recipient mobile number with country code. So here we have already got the customer details or the WhatsApp number of the customer from the trigger response that is from our active campaign account. So we are going to map all these details now. So let's scroll down. Here we have to map the mobile number. So come to active campaign and let us map the mobile number. So here remember you have to map WhatsApp number of the customer to send the WhatsApp messages. And remember to add your country code before the number. Okay, so I have added plus 91 as we are in India. Now here we have to give body field one example name. So let us map the name from active campaign and the name was Adam as well as the last name also. Again come to active campaign and let us find the last name. And at last we have to map body field 2 that is our uh, tag. So let us come to active campaign and let us find the tag that is contact tags Pabli plus. Okay. So here we can see that we have mapped all the values. Now let us click on save and send test request. Okay and here we can see the response is received. It means the message is delivered to the customer on his WhatsApp number. Let us check it. Okay, and here we have got a new message. Let's open it. Hello, Adam Smith. Thank you for subscribing. We hope you will enjoy being Pabli Plus user. And here we can see the messages displayed. Now, things to note here are the body fields and the values. Hello, Adam Smith. So, Adam Smith was the name of the contact. And here we have entered the tag details that is Pabli Plus. So, in this way, we can see that a correct message is generated and it is delivered to the customer. And in this way, we can see that our integration is working fine. So let's move back to Public Connect and I'll just save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay. Now, as we have created an automation between Active Campaign and WhatsApp, next time, whenever you are going to add a tag to a specific contact in Active Campaign, automatically a WhatsApp message will be delivered to your contact. So let's check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not. For that, I'll just move to my Active Campaign account once again. And here I'm just going to add a contact to a specific contact named Shikha Arya. So let's open the contact details and let's scroll down and I'm going to enter the tag as Pabli Plus. Okay, so here we can see that the tag has been added. Now we can see the message is delivered on the WhatsApp number also. And here we have got a message as hello Shikha Arya, thank you for subscribing. We hope you will be you will enjoy being Pabli Plus user. So here we can see that the name of the customer is correct. And even the uh, tag details are also mentioned correctly. And here I have given the same WhatsApp number for both these customers just to check whether our integration is actually working fine or not. Okay. So in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. Let's move back to Public Connect. And I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. Okay. So first we have created an integration between Active Campaign and Public Connect. 
Then Pabli Connect has captured all the details of the contact and the tag details whenever a new tag was added to a specific contact. And then using all these details, automatically a WhatsApp message was delivered to your customer. And in this way, we have created a successful integration between Active Campaign and WhatsApp using Pabli Connect. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Pabli Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.